Good morning, my friends. It's Mark, the Southern Cat Man again. Uh, what I wanted to do was switch cameras to do a quick walk around, just a general once over on this car. Again, after looking at the video, I honestly took with my phone. I'm just not real satisfied with the quality. And I didn't want there to be any questions about the way this car actually looked. I don't think the other camera did it justice. This should give a 4K look to it. Let's try to get in close and look at some details. And really this is just kind of a supplement to the other video. Hopefully you can get a little bit better idea of how straight the car is. The color is generally consistent. Like I said, only the hood really shows any sort of variation in the form of variegation. There's a decent sheen here to the trunk. Uh, you can get more out of it, but you sort of have to split the difference uh, between consistency of color and uh, the attaining of a, of a glossier shine. You know, la lacquer will, will cooperate quite well if you want to polish it up. And we got sun on this side fighting us, but hopefully you can still see with a sharper uh, picture here what we have going on. There are some wipe marks on here. I used some quick detailer because there was some uh, debris and mess that fell overnight. In fact, it's happened again. So there's there's some of that. That's not what I'm talking about. It's it's right in here. Just a little. Cl it's almost like a cloud that uh, where the the color of the of the lacquer is sort of variegated. It's a very nice car. Do the same thing inside. But you can see the chrome. Look at the chrome. When you keep them in the garage, it changes everything. And I did notice also when I went over the roof, it really didn't show much. So I'm trying to give you a better look at that. Sorry for the sun. Also notice the, the, I had a hard time uh, really capturing the color as well. It's a navy blue interior. There's nothing to hide, so I want to as clearly as I can demonstrate what everything looks like up close. I see my battery light blinking, so this may end abruptly. But I still, I think we've got what we need here. Should give you an idea. Okay, well, give me a call, 919-948-5980.